Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, although you probably can't see, but I am in France at the minute. I am actually in one of the Disneyland Paris associated hotels and I thought I'd give you guys a tour of the room and the resort, if you can call it a resort, although it is pretty hefty from what I've seen so far. So basically I am staying in the, there's different ways to pronounce it. It's either the Kairad, the Kiriad or the Karad. I'm not sure, but I'm going to say the Kairad because that's how I've always said it, but it's probably wrong, so I apologise. But it is an associated hotel, so it's not on site, but it is associated, so it has a gift shop, like an official Disney gift shop. It has free shuttle buses to the park and a couple of other perks. It doesn't have early magic hours though, but there's not a lot of information on the associated hotels, and this is the second one I've stopped in, so I thought I would start giving tours of the room and what it's like in the resort. So, let's go inside the room and I will show you my room. So this is my room. So as you can see, it is a key entry. Um, I haven't like switched the thingy because it's also one of the key rooms where you have to put the key in to make the lights come on. So I've just opened the door and show you what it's like. But yeah, so you come in, it's got a lock here and it's got a lock here. It's got like fire stuff and yeah, boring stuff. And then this is the room. So this is a twin room. Me and my boyfriend are staying here. So we've got a coat rack on the right here. We've just got here, so our stuff isn't everywhere. I've tried to keep it as tidy as possible for you guys. So we've got a bathroom on the left here. I'll show you that in a second. Um, so then we have a mirror here for length. Let's see what I'm wearing. Hey, I've been on the coach for 16 hours, so I'm pretty knackered. So please excuse my face and blah. But let's concentrate on the room. So you come in and then you have the two twin room, the two twin rooms. You have the two twin beds here. There's a phone there for reception. There is plug stuff underneath there, so you can like plug your phone in by your bedside table. And um, obviously you need an adapter. There's a remote because there's a telly and there's a switch there for the lights. And then there's some nice decoration on the bed. So then on the right here, we've got a desk. That's just my suitcase under there. I've got the telly. There's some information about Disney, our room stuff. That's just my camera case. Um, there's a kettle, but there is no tea bags or cups or nothing like that. So there is a kettle, but if you want anything like coffee or tea wise, you have to go to reception and pay three pound 50 euros to get like a cup and a coffee, and, like sugar and all that sort of thing. So I think it's a bit stupid that they give you a kettle if they're not gonna give you the other stuff. So yeah, make sure you bring your own stuff if you're gonna stop at this hotel, because there is a kettle, but there's nothing else. So there's power plugs here, a lamp, some information about the hotel. There's room service. There's also um, a little zoo kind of place. So when I go outside and show you the rest of the resort, I will show you that. So that's what the hotel looks like at the front. So it's pretty nice. And that's how you officially spell it. <laughs> so we've got a chair here, then we've got some curtains and then we've got quite a nice size wardrobe. So I'll show you inside the wardrobe. So you have like two like spaces up here, then you've got like hangers and stuff for long stuff. This is where we've shoved our stuff so it's nice and tidy for you guys. And then there's even a safe as well, which I think is pretty cool. So yeah, so it does have um, almost full length windows. I don't know if you can see that, they're just open there. We are actually on the walkway of where most people come in and out of the hotel, which hopefully won't be too noisy during the night and we are gonna be out early and not back to late, so hopefully it shouldn't be too annoying, but this window does open and it goes all the way up to the top and so do the curtains. So back to the bathroom, you also have like your thermostat and stuff here. Uh, yeah, so you've got a hairdryer, which does actually work as soon as you take it off, it's a hairdryer, which is pretty cool. Uh, then you've got a single sink, a couple of like cups and soaps, but we won't be drinking the water. We don't really drink the water when we come to France, we get bottled water. Hey, so we've got a nice big mirror. Hey, chip cup. Um, we've got a nice big mirror. Uh, toilet, you know. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's a good size. We've got a shower here. Yeah, so this is basically the standard twin room. So if you are interested in staying at this hotel, I'm gonna have a little look around the actual hotel itself now. So the reception, there's a Disney shop, that sort of thing. So we'll go and have a good look around.
there behind us is like a little petting zoo thing. Um, I think you can go in during the day, but it's shut right now because it's later now. And then this way is like the restaurant and where we'll have breakfast and stuff. And then round from the restaurant is the main square. So these are all like rooms around here and our room is on this side. And then down here is the reception. So this is the hotel reception and this is the restaurant here on the left and this is the shop here which is now closed and um, it's shut at 10 opens at 8 and it's closed between 12 and 6 every day but other than that that's basically the hotel and um, there's some vending machines over here and um, behind this big cabinet thing and then background there was like the arcade bit in the beginning of the hotel so that's it and that is basically the hotel. So we're now back in our room. Apart from the actual restaurant, which I showed you, there's also like a little kind of food calf thing where you can get um, burgers and pizzas and things. So we just got some pasta there, which is at reception. And I think that's open till like half 11. And um, there's vending machines like 24 hours. Um, there's like bigger bottles of water which are cheaper at the like calf thing. So if you do stay at this hotel, make sure you get the bottles of water there rather than the vending machines because they're expensive in the mender machines and very small. But other than that, it seems like an okay hotel. Um, it's not as new as the b, &B which I've stayed in, um, which is also an associated hotel. And I know we've only been here a few hours, but I think I already kind of prefer the other hotel, the b, &B which I stayed in last time. Um, if you want to see some of that hotel, make sure you check out my Disneyland Paris vlogs from September. Obviously we can't comment on the breakfast yet and the shop was shut when we went round there. Other than that, then that was the room and hotel tour. So I hope this video was informative for anyone who's wanted to stay here and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.